Imagine being trapped in a world where your reality is constantly questioned, your emotions manipulated, and your sense of self-worth systematically eroded. This is the harsh reality of narcissistic abuse, a deeply damaging experience that leaves scars long after the relationship ends. But for those who survive, especially Sigma empaths, the journey doesn't end with escape. It's just the beginning. Sigma empaths, known for their resilience and unique ability to see through deception, often bear the brunt of narcissistic abuse more intensely. Their healing journey is not for the faint of heart, it requires immense strength and courage. But what does this journey look like? What changes occur within them as they begin to heal? In this video, we'll explore the profound transformations that happen to Sigma empaths after they've survived the tumultuous experience of narcissistic abuse. These are not just challenges, they are also signs of growth, resilience, and the beginning of a new chapter. Here are 10 things that happen to Sigma empaths who survive narcissistic abuse. Number 1. Zero sense of trust. After breaking free from a narcissistic relationship, Sigma empaths often find themselves standing on shaky ground. The person they once trusted with their heart and soul turned out to be the source of their deepest pain, leaving their sense of trust in tatters. In those first few days of healing, it can feel like the world is a dangerous place where everyone's motives are suspect. The Sigma empaths' once strong intuition now feels unreliable, clouded by the manipulations they endured. This loss of trust isn't limited to others, it extends inward as well. Sigma empaths may question their own judgment, wondering how they could have been so blind to the narcissist's true nature. Every decision becomes a battleground, where they second-guess themselves at every turn. Simple choices, like whether to trust a friend or take a new opportunity, suddenly feel overwhelming. It's as if their entire reality has been destabilized, leaving them unsure of what's real and what's a lingering effect of the abuse. But healing requires rebuilding this trust both in others and in oneself. So as a Sigma empath, how can you stabilize your sense of reality after the abuse? How do you begin to trust again when your foundation has been so deeply shaken? Number two, they get used to setting aside their needs. Throughout their relationship with a narcissist, Sigma empaths often find themselves trapped in a pattern where their needs always come second. The narcissist, with their endless demands and manipulative tactics, convinces the empath that their own desires are unimportant. Over time, Sigma empaths learn to prioritize the narcissist's wants, convincing themselves that it's easier to keep the peace than to voice their own needs. They might tell themselves that they're just being selfless, but in reality, they're losing pieces of themselves with each sacrifice. Even after they've broken free, this habit lingers. Without the narcissist around, Sigma empaths may still find themselves saying yes when they mean no agreeing to things they don't want to do, and putting others' needs ahead of their own without even realizing it. This automatic response is a remnant of the toxic relationship, where boundaries were constantly crossed. The danger is that this can lead to burnout, resentment, and a deeper disconnection from their true selves. Recognizing and addressing this unconscious tendency is crucial for healing. It's not just about setting boundaries with others, but also with themselves. The journey to recovery involves reclaiming their voice, honoring their needs, and learning that it's okay to say no. It's about understanding that their needs matter just as much as anyone else's, and they deserve to be met. Number 3. Depleted Courage and Confidence After enduring narcissistic abuse, Sigma empaths often find that the confidence and courage they once had are now just faint memories. The constant belittling and manipulation from the narcissist have taken a heavy toll, leaving them feeling small and unsure of themselves. It's as if the narcissist has drained them of their inner strength, making it hard to imagine a future where they can stand tall again. Imagine trying to run a marathon with a broken leg, this is what it can feel like for a Sigma empath trying to move forward after the abuse. The idea of taking even one step seems impossible when you're crippled by self-doubt and fear. The path ahead looks daunting, filled with obstacles that seem insurmountable. Every decision feels like a risk, and every challenge seems like a reminder of past failures. But despite how overwhelming it may seem, the journey of rebuilding confidence and courage begins with small steps. It's about recognizing that the strength to move forward is still within them, 
buried under the scars of the past. As they slowly start to trust themselves again, they'll find that each step, no matter how small, brings them closer to reclaiming the person they were before the abuse. How are you able to regain your self-confidence despite not knowing where to begin? Number four, constant internalization. One of the toughest battles Sigma empaths face after surviving narcissistic abuse is the constant internalization of blame. Even after escaping the toxic environment, they continue to carry the weight of responsibility for things that were never their fault. This habit of internalizing comes from the relentless gaslighting they endured at the hands of the narcissist. Over time, they were conditioned to believe that they were always the problem, always at fault, no matter the situation. Imagine being in a room where the walls are mirrors, reflecting back at you every mistake and flaw, real or imagined. This is what it feels like for Sigma empaths they see the problems around them and instinctively believe they are the cause. Even when it's clear to others that the issues lie elsewhere, Sigma empaths struggle to shake off the nagging doubt that it might somehow be their fault. This learned behavior can seep into their relationships with family and friends. They might find themselves constantly apologizing, even when there's no reason to. They take on the burdens of others, trying to fix problems that aren't theirs to solve. This apologetic attitude can strain relationships, as loved ones might not understand why the empath feels the need to shoulder so much. The key to breaking this cycle lies in recognizing where these feelings stem from and learning to separate the past manipulations from the present reality. Number 5. Repairing their shrinking world For Sigma empaths, surviving narcissistic abuse often means waking up to the reality of a world that has grown uncomfortably small. In the midst of the relationship, they were trapped in the narcissist's universe, where everything revolved around the abuser's needs, desires and manipulations. As a result, the empath's own world shrank, leaving little room for personal growth, friendships or even the simple joys of life. It's like living in a house with locked doors and covered windows, unaware of the bright, expansive world just outside. When the abuse finally ends, there comes a moment of realization so much has been missed. Friends have drifted away, opportunities have passed by, and the richness of life has been overshadowed by the dark cloud of the narcissist's control. But this realization also brings a sense of urgency, a desire to reconnect with the world they once knew. It's not easy. Rebuilding these connections can feel awkward, like trying to step back into a dance you haven't practiced in years. Reconnecting with friends, catching up on lost time, and allowing themselves to enjoy life again are all crucial steps in this process. Yet, these steps are often accompanied by painful memories. Sigma empaths might recall moments when they lashed out at well-meaning friends who tried to warn them about the narcissist. Regret can weigh heavily, but it's important to ask have you fought with some of your friends just because they warned you about the narcissist? If so, reaching out to those friends, offering an apology, and explaining the situation can be a powerful way to heal and expand their world once more. Number 6. They develop insecure attachment. Surviving narcissistic abuse leaves deep scars, especially in the way Sigma empaths form connections with others. Once they were people who loved deeply and without hesitation, but the betrayal and manipulation they experienced changed the way they approach relationships. Now there's a lingering sense of anxiety whenever they get close to someone new, like an invisible barrier that keeps them from fully trusting and loving again. This insecurity doesn't just vanish when the abuse ends. Instead, it settles in, making them second-guess every interaction and question every intention. They might find themselves pulling away from those who genuinely care, fearing that the closeness will only bring more pain. It's as if the abuse taught them that attachment is a risk, and with that risk comes the potential for devastation. But recognizing this pattern is the first step toward healing. It's crucial for Sigma empaths to reflect on their attachment style and consider how it might be affecting their current relationships. Are they holding back because of past wounds? Are they pushing people away out of fear? Understanding these tendencies can open the door to healthier, more secure connections in the future. It's not easy to rebuild trust, but it's worth the effort to experience love and connection without the chains of insecurity. Number 7. They walk on eggshells. 
After escaping narcissistic abuse, Sigma empaths often find themselves walking on eggshells in their everyday interactions. They've learned to be hyper-vigilant, always careful not to provoke anger or dissatisfaction, even in situations where it's unnecessary. This behavior is a remnant of their past, a habit formed by years of needing to constantly appease the narcissist to avoid conflict. This cautious approach to interactions can evolve into a broader tendency to people please. Sigma empaths might find themselves bending over backward to make others happy, fearing any slip might lead to trouble or rejection. They lose their assertiveness, constantly suppressing their own needs and desires to maintain harmony and avoid any possible discomfort. It's like they're still living in the shadow of their abuser, even though the threat is no longer present. Ask yourself this, do you still walk on eggshells around people who remind you of your abuser? Are you overly careful not to upset others, even when there's no real danger? Recognizing this behavior is a critical step toward healing. It's important to reclaim your space, assert your boundaries, and trust that you can navigate relationships without falling back into old patterns. Number 8. They self-isolate. In the aftermath of narcissistic abuse, Sigma empaths often retreat into isolation. The shame and self-blame they feel can be overwhelming, making them pull away from social interactions and support. They worry that others won't understand the depth of their pain or might judge them for what they've been through. This fear of judgment, coupled with societal misconceptions about abuse, creates a powerful barrier, keeping them from reaching out and connecting with others. Society sometimes fails to recognize the true nature of emotional and psychological abuse, leading to misconceptions and victim blaming. This lack of understanding can make Sigma empaths feel even more alone, as if their experiences are invalid or not worthy of sympathy. They might worry that opening up will only lead to further hurt or disbelief. But it's important to remember that support is available and necessary. Seeking help from understanding friends, support groups, or mental health professionals can break the cycle of isolation. By reaching out, Sigma empaths can find validation and connection, making the healing process a bit more bearable. You don't have to face this journey alone. Reaching out and sharing your story can bring comfort and understanding, helping you to slowly rebuild and heal. Number 9. They compare themselves to others. During their relationship with the narcissist, Sigma empaths were often caught in the middle of unhealthy dynamics, like love triangles designed to manipulate and control them. The narcissist's tactics made Sigma empaths question their worth as they were constantly pitted against others in a competition for approval and affection. This ongoing comparison eroded their self-esteem and made them doubt their own value. Even after the relationship ends, this habit of comparison lingers. Sigma empaths may find themselves measuring their healing progress against others, or feeling inadequate when they see others thriving in healthy relationships. It's a painful echo of the past, a reminder of how they were made to feel less than in the eyes of their abuser. But here's an important truth to remember you are not responsible for the abuse you suffered. The tactics used by the narcissist were never about you being unworthy, but about manipulating and controlling. So as you navigate your recovery, try to shift the focus away from comparing yourself to others. Embrace your unique journey and recognize that your healing path is valid and personal. The road to recovery is not a race, it's about finding your own pace and rebuilding from within. Number 10. They will have to bear the superficiality. After escaping the grip of a narcissist, Sigma empaths often find themselves adopting superficial behaviors to cope with their new reality. In the narcissist world, they learned to mask their true feelings and put on a brave face, even when everything inside was falling apart. This facade becomes a survival mechanism as they step back into the world, trying to navigate social interactions and professional environments. At first, it's a way to blend in and avoid drawing attention to their emotional struggles. They might smile when they don't feel like it, act upbeat when they're feeling down, and maintain a level of professionalism that hides their inner turmoil. Over time, these behaviors can become routine, a default setting to protect themselves from further hurt or judgment. This approach can serve as a shield, but it's important to remember that it's only temporary. 
As they progress in their healing journey, Sigma empaths will gradually find their way back to genuine connection and emotional openness. Recovery is a challenging road, filled with ups and downs, but each step forward is a victory. As you reflect on your own journey, think about the first thing you focused on during your healing. What strategies or support systems helped you navigate this path? Today, we've explored the 10 things that happened to Sigma empaths who survived narcissistic abuse, from the initial struggle with trust to the challenge of bearing superficiality in their new reality. We've discussed how the abuse impacts their ability to trust, their self-worth, and their approach to relationships, among other things. Each point highlighted a unique aspect of the recovery journey, showing just how deep the effects of narcissistic abuse can run. Remember the path to healing is not easy, but you're not alone. It takes immense strength to push through these challenges and reclaim your sense of self. Keep moving forward, one step at a time, and be gentle with yourself as you navigate this journey. I'd love to hear from you share your experiences in the comments below. What strategies have helped you in your recovery? Your insights might offer valuable support to others who are on their own healing path. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on navigating life after narcissistic abuse. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.